Hey, why do all men do this? They can have like the most amazing weekend. I mean, they can meet the president of the United States. They can get a brand new car. They can be on their dream vacation. And then you go to their Instagram and it's like, one picture of him and his dog like what like are you hiding something or you just don't want people to know what you're doing someone please explain this to me what's going on youtube is your boy ron back with another video if you're new to the platform welcome to the trap by the end of this video i hope you subscribe and ma'am the reason why we are that way is because we don't value flexing for the gram and social media like women do we don't care about clout we don't care about what other people think when it comes to our relationship we prefer to be a little bit more personal than y'all um now and this is coming from a person who believes in being transparent is one of the reasons why i am where i am in this space um but you know to each his own everybody is different um but you know I, I will say this there's a time and a place to be public i think that's probably the safest bet all right so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the next video men have always been the prize um women no let me let me hold on hold Better on finish. Let me, um but as for this conversation i will admit i am one of the few people who did not know who simone, simone biles was until this situation um however i want to say something and i know some of y'all might feel away get mad at me men have always been the prize um women no let me let me hold on hold let on let me finish let me finish because i'm not I, let me finish let me finish men have always been the prize and, and i'm going to explain what i'm saying women marry who they can men marry who they want you can you can get offended by the statement but if you really sit down and you think about it and you be honest with yourself that is a very valid statement also, not only that, but by him saying that he is the prize, that does not make her not a prize. I myself am raising a young man. I'm raising my son is seven years old. He is a miniature Einstein. He is manners, more than he has his manners are beyond most adults that I've ever met. His, his style of dress, his respect of himself as well as others. He, I'm instilling in him his, his faith, his spiritualness. I'm instilling, instilling in my son to be a prize, especially with these days, the way that women are raising these young girls. And it's unfortunate, but it, and also the numbers, it's always been since the beginning of time, women will fight over a man, you know what I'm saying? But they'll accept but at the same time, they're gonna accept like back in the traditional days that as long as the house is taken care of and he pays all the bills, he can have those two, three families up the street. You know what I'm saying? Men have always been the prize. We have gotten to a point where we disrespect our men so much. I worry so much about what, what the world is gonna look like when my son becomes of age to date and to court and to marry. Because I will, I will never let any of your daughters tell my son that he is not the prize. That will never be a thing. And if you have sons, nephews, whatever the God children, you should not ever tell your son, oh, she, she is a, do you guys see what type of young girls are being raised? So you're telling you these young girls that they're a prize over the son that you're putting your time, that you're actually put the man who's supposed to be the provider that you guys are looking for, the man who's supposed to be the protector that you guys are looking for, and you just want to sit back and live a soft life. He's not the prize. That will never, that that will never make sense to me. And I'll leave it there and let you guys marinate on that. <laughs> I'm like, did you hear the room of women talking underneath their breath the moment she said that? And then she hit them with what we say in this space all the time. Men marry who they want. Women marry who they can. Women can, they can screw who they want. And men, we, we get the sex that we can get. We all, we all know this. So it is, and, and this is another reason why I find this, the, you know, who's the prize this talking point and this argument is so funny because you can tell that it, it, it I think this particular argument shows a big difference between logic and emotion 
this is the typical logic and emotion conversation because women don't look at this conversation or this talking point logically whatsoever because if they did a lot more women would sound like the lady that you just saw in that clip you're not going to sit over here and tell me that women want to practice hypergamy want a man that makes more money than them taller than them and all the other things they literally want a man that is superior to them pretty much because they always say i want a man that's gonna elevate me translation superior to me but then want to turn around and say that they're not the prize and all the things that you require of him in order for in order for you to take him seriously he doesn't even require those things of you so who's again who's really the prize just saying if y'all if y'all are the prize the word hypergamy shouldn't even exist in a nutshell let's keep it moving Fatality. Y'all, it is 2024. Can y'all stop pretending like a man asking a woman what does she bring to the table is an issue? Because y'all want men to be 100% fully committed to you. What is wrong with him wanting to know what it is he's committing to? And for some reason, whenever a man asks that question, y'all automatically think monetary. When it comes to a relationship, what you bring to the table does not always have to be a financial aspect, especially for women, because y'all have made it clear that y'all don't want to spend your money on men anyways. So when it comes to what you bring to the table, clearly that's not what he's talking about. Do you know how to be a peaceful person? Do you know how to communicate in a healthy manner? Do you know how to just love somebody unconditionally? Maybe you know how to be a safe space for him to express his emotions. Maybe you enjoy making people feel good. You're a very loving and caring person. If he had a long day at work, are you somebody who he can come home to and decompress with? None of those things have anything to do with money, but they are all values that you can bring to the table in a relationship. See, but instead of looking at it that way, you guys would rather shame men for even asking the question and make it seem like he's not a man for wanting to know what a woman brings to the table because the real answer is you bring nothing. That's why when men ask, well, what do you bring to the table? Y'all say stupid shit like, well, I bring the table. See, because admitting that you bring nothing to the table you bring no value into the relationship. That requires too much accountability. That requires too much self-reflection. And y'all not woman enough for that shit. So y'all would rather gaslight men into thinking that them asking, what do you bring to the table is wrong. The real answer is that you don't bring a damn thing. I've never seen more women so easily purchased in a time like now. They'll throw their morals, their integrity, their dignity, their self-respect all out the window for a bag. And then they sit there and they preach to other women to do the same thing. They're disqualifying all of these men. And then once they get to a certain age, they're saying, where are the good men at? Where's the husband material? Where are the men that want to build with me? Where are the men that want to start a family with me? And you can't find them because those same men that you are saying that are disqualified, sometimes those are actually the men that are supposed to be your counterpart. A lot of these women say these things for the hype of other women so other women can laugh and clap and so that they can make themselves seem like they are above all these women that are talking about you have to have a certain amount of money to date me, to be with me, cannot even get a date if they pay for it themselves. Can't get a man to look their way. Can't get a man to call them during certain hours of the day. Her phone will only start ringing when it's dark outside. And shout out to River TV. I love her rant. She be snapping. But I will say this, the type of women that she's talking about, I'm telling you right now, those are going to just end up being cat and wine box ladies or permanent side chicks. Oof. I'm telling you right now, bro. Ain't headed nowhere fast. Let's keep it moving. Ladies, one thing that I learned for sure about men is they do not judge women the way women judge women. It's like soon as y'all get wind that a man is dealing with a certain type of woman or he may have even cheated on you with a certain type of woman. It's like y'all instantly start attacking that woman's looks. The first thing y'all want to do is talk about the way she look. You want to figure out where she work, how much she make an hour, what kind of car she drives. You want to know where she stay. It's like y'all instantly get insecure in your minds that you begin comparing yourself to a woman that you don't even know. It never dawns on y'all that man, maybe she's nice. Maybe she's a kind-hearted woman. Maybe she's genuine. Maybe she's a great mom. Maybe she listens. Maybe she's not always angry. Maybe she's teachable. Maybe she's uh, feminine. Maybe she's a soft woman. None of that. None of that never clicks to y'all. The first.
thing y'all want to go is that things that do not matter because a lot of women who got their shit together y'all instantly start thinking that that's the only thing you got to bring to the table and it, it creates this cockiness about y'all and it makes y'all have ugly spirits y'all work so hard on y'all outside and y'all work so hard on trying to get these credentials to cover up what really hides in the inside a man has no problem cheating on an rn with a woman who works at a convenience store because she probably has a better character about herself, better characteristics. She's probably loyal. She's probably just a kind, spirited, soft woman all the way around. He has no problem with picking that woman up. She probably just need an extra push. She probably just need an extra hand at life to put her at that top spot. A man has no problem dating a woman down. So when y'all get done assuming that a man downgraded just because a woman may not be physically attractive the way you think or may not have certain things that you think she should have over you, understand it's not always a downgrade. That woman probably is that man's piece. That woman probably is a kind woman. And then when y'all get done comparing how much somebody makes, oatmeal beats no meal, baby. Don't nobody care about how much money y'all make and what y'all look like. Work on that inside. And this is even more proof that what the lady said about men being a prize is true because a man and Kevin Samuels stressed this. He was trying to stress this to women so much. He said men will go down on looks for cooperation. Like quickly. If there's a reason why they say find you a solid six or seven that, that cooks and cleans exists for a reason. Because the typically the eights, nines, and tens don't want to because they never really had to as myron Gaines says those type of women are never useful are never are useless because they never had to be useful y'all let me know what y'all thought about this man if you're new to the platform please subscribe ogs i appreciate the love and support make sure y'all hit that bell notification that way i know what i'm uploading hit the like button because that helps with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience also look out for the um, travel vlog channel unplugged traveler link is in the description until the next video y'all deuces